mobile money companies in Africa are playing an important role in accelerating the use of digital financial services. Telecommunications operators are major financial players with their mobile money networks providing essential banking services to tens of millions via cell phones. A United Nations agency called the Better Than Cash Alliance works with governments, businesses and international organizations to accelerate cash to digital payments. For more information, Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndiho spoke to Luce Nshuti Mbabazi, head of advocacy and partnerships at the Rwanda-based Better Than Cash Alliance. Lucy Mbabazi Nshuti, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me, Paul. Thank you for having the UN Better Than Cash Alliance. You've been uh, at the forefront of uh, driving uh, digitalization in Africa in terms of uh, uh, digital payments. So uh, let's start there. What has been uh, your journey like? 2008, I was at the Kennedy School and um, you know met this fantastic professor, Kalesta Struma, who was working in you know science and technology and working out how it helps Africa. And he focused a lot on his village. Uh, in Kisumu. And so being that my family is in Rwanda and I'm, you know, I was proudly Rwandan, I reached out to the to the government of Rwanda, the Rwanda Development Board, IT department. And luckily Rwanda was already on that path since 2000, trying to digitize uh, what was my thesis turned into my first job assignment. And during that job assignment, we were tasked with figuring out how tourists coming into Rwanda didn't have to carry cash and a government that was really committed to making it happen helped me land into this space and when i recognized the economic power of digital payments i figured i might as well park myself here and see the advancement of digital payments uh, across the continent. You talked about how the government of Rwanda has been uh, very instrumental in pushing this. To what extent do you think that uh, the average person in, uh, let's say, Ruhengere or somewhere, can they accept uh, those uh, digital payments? Coincidentally, uh, which is now Musanze, Ruhengere is now Musanze district, is one of the first places that I, I went to because they are the breadbasket of of, 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 of Rwanda. And so today, <laughs> today people in Musanze are using digital payments. And obviously COVID helped. Uh, 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 it accelerated the need for people to get digital tools and digital uh, payment services. And if you go there today, you will find so many shops and the markets accepting digital payments. When you look at uh, the success of uh, mobile money payments, uh, let's say M-Pesa, are there some areas where uh, maybe these uh, uh, multinational corporations, uh, the MTNs, uh, are they reaching every person that needs uh, to access uh, those uh, payments? The, the telco networks have done a fantastic job of making sure that every place has at least a 2G network, right? And I think those are being upgraded to 3G networks. That whether you have a feature phone, which many, which majority have, or a smartphone, you still can be able to use digital payments. But because of the profit <laughs> that comes as a result of access, um, and Safaricom has shown this so well, is that you must get out. The customers, payments are a volumes game, Profits in payments are volumes game. The more people have access, the better for us. And so they've done the work of putting out the agent networks where people can go and digitize their cash. You talked about the issue, for example, of profit. Uh, a lot of critics say that all these uh, teleco companies are in it for, for the profit at the expense of the average user. The ordinary people don't know how to use this thing. They don't even know the cost associated with some of these uh, digital payments at the alliance we have these principles that are uh, you know that give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can be responsible how do you win the trust of the user i think designing for user needs transparency is is at the heart of more people coming on board i need to know what this costs me. I need to know what it's going to do. I need to know what it can and cannot do. But fundamentally is when I'm at the point of payment, it needs to work. 
every time. And if it doesn't work, I need to know why it hasn't worked. If my money has gone by, mis you know, by mistake, then I need you to tell me there was a mistake. Here is your money back as quickly as possible. I hope, Paul, you will be a champion of uh, digitization, of digitization of our economies, and, and, and really uh, that this is done in a responsible way that benefits everyone. Well, that would be a badge of honor on my part. In a way, I'm doing that uh, right now by trying to yes. put this uh, message across. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your time, Lucy. Thank you so much, Paul, and have a great rest of 2022. That was Africa 54 tech correspondent Paul Ndiho speaking to Lucien Shuti Mbambazi, head of advocacy and partnerships at the Better Than Cash Alliance.